So welcome to the second part where I take a look at how I converted the Tamiya King Cap and therefore the Hilux Monster Racer chassis to the Traxxas uh, gearbox. Um, and when I looked at these gearboxes, I, I figured they are fairly similar in, in size and, and shape. So you can almost match them up and also the thickness. So I thought it should be possible. Uh, what I did at first, I got myself an old broken king cap chassis. Uh, this is actually unusable, but it was fairly reasonable priced. And so it was a perfect test bed for actually see what I need to do. The transmission here sits inside and of course the transmission as it is built is part of the structural, structural integrity of the whole chassis. So it actually mounts at the top, it mounts here and it has these uh, kind of carbon something plate underneath. So it's sandwiched between the top and the bottom and I want to, to keep this as good as possible. Uh, as for all of my uh, reworks on the on the King Cap, I try to do as little as possible structural changes to anything. Avoid drilling holes, trying to use holes that are already in the chassis. So when I match these two up, this side is better. I saw I need only need to do a few little holes to actually get. The, the hub into position where it should be. So the three holes, I had to cut out a little bit here and two positions here, which actually matches up to this corner and the two screws up here. So that gave me the space I needed to mount the, the gearbox. Um, but I still had no way of actually connecting it. And so therefore I drilled these two holes in the gearbox and mounted it here with two screws. So I had again this sandwich effect. There's one additional thing that is not part of uh, this. It is this kind of stand. And there's no way to replicate it with the Traxxas gearbox. It simply doesn't exist. These holes are in nothing. So this is the one part, when you look at my final solution, this is the one part I actually machined from a piece of, of uh, plastic. Uh, so that replicates exactly this stand here. You may wonder why I have two transmissions. <laughs> the, the first approach wasn't uh, to actually have the Traxxas lower arms. I originally planned to have the, the original king cap arms down here. And therefore I actually cut away the built-in holders for the lower arms. But I figured I had to make too many compromises in I, I couldn't get the, 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 the wheels connected. I couldn't find a, a right dog bone. These things don't match up because the, the, the wheel hubs are different. So, so in the end, I, I said, okay, screw that. I, I completely replaced the whole back. And the good thing with these Traxxas parts is uh, I, I can get all parts separately. So, so I don't need to buy a new... Uh, uh, Gearbox, I just need to buy a new gearbox housing, which is just some euros. It's fairly reasonable. And everything else here is replacement parts as well. So it, it's only new parts from Traxxas just sold separately. I don't need to buy a, a Traxxas Slash or something like this. Uh, and of course, altogether, this is cheaper than actually buying uh, a new gearbox from Tamiya on, on the, on the second-hand market. The one thing I did to make it more stable, I figured the, the point where I drilled my new holes here, uh, 
they are not meant to hold the load of the new gearbox. So I reinforced this with additional uh, plastics. And I also, you see this gap here. I don't want to have the screws load onto this pl plastic into a gap. So I actually filled this up again with this kind of plastic sheet. So when you look at the uh, rear assembly of the King Cab and Hilux, you have uh, the, the diff in the, in the middle and the, the arms are mounted to this bottom plate. And this is a, a big difference to how Traxxas solved this problem. With the Traxxas gearbox, the, the arm mount is actually part of the gearbox mold. That's what I originally cut away but I left in place on this second attempt. Instead, for the second attempt, I machined away these mounting points from the bottom plate of the king cap. You see some extra holes. This is for my first attempt that extra actually didn't work out. Um, but now you have actually a weak spot. I was not comfortable with this, so I decided I want to add a bottom plate which actually also covers uh, the the uh, diff gear so i made this bottom plate and i screw this in and it it holds down the gearbox from the other side and the long screws go into this uh, one plastic part that i machined so i basically sandwich the original tamiya bottom plate in between this aluminium plate and uh, the Traxxas gearbox. Uh, by the way, this is not carbon, it's just aluminium with some nice carbon finishing. <laughs> it looks, looks cool, it looks a bit better than just the pure aluminium. Yeah, so I hope this adds the necessary stability to, to keep this long lasting. Let's assemble it back. By the way, I am in the lucky position to have access to some nice machining tools that also gave me the opportunity to um, fix something here because when you look at uh, the, the geometry of the Traxxas gearbox, it's, it doesn't fit exactly in the center of the Tamiya one, uh, of the Tamiya position of its gearbox. So I actually cut these two parts in a slightly different length just to accommodate for this difference in positioning. So the last point then is uh, these two mounting holes now that are reinforced in between and on the side of the king cap. And I have to use fairly flat screws here, so they do not interfere with the spur gear here. I think it's called a spur gear. I'm not sure, actually. This is a bit more fiddly because obviously it's never meant to be used in that way. By the way, you can get this uh, Traxxas gearbox in black or in gray. Of course, this makes it look also more stock. The great thing on this way of modifying it, the few holes you cut out are actually so insignificant that it actually could go back to the original Tamiya gearbox. I mean, I don't know why you want to do that, but <laughs> you could. By the way, the screw interferes very ever so slightly with the cover, so I have to, had to cut a very tiny notch out of this uh, gear cover here. Oh yes, there's another very tiny point here I had to cut out because the Traxxas gearbox interferes here with the original. Okay, now the gearbox is back on. Uh, and the next point is of course the arms and the suspension. So here are the original king cap damper mounts in the Traxxas arm. I can use the original Traxxas uh, screw holes.
But one thing you need to change is uh, the length of the upper arm because when you look at the Tamiya arm it's very short and the whole uh, arm has a completely different geometry. Um, the very good thing on the Traxxas side is this telescopic kind of axis that actually can lengthen itself and shrink. So the geometry uh, in contrast to, to the uh, dog bone technique doesn't have to be perfect. It can actually flex when it's going up and down. Uh, and actually that's absolutely necessary here because it does not exactly fit. I figured I replaced the complete thing with these kind of uh, adjustable uh, things. By the way, the upper part is uh, the Tamiya part, while the lower is from that manufacturer of these screw elements here. There's now one important change I made to the original setup and this is the mounting point of the upper arm because on the original Tamiya uh, in the instructions it says use the outer hole of these two holes here. What I figured it fits better with these Truxus arms to use the inner mounting point and this now fits the Truxus geometry very nicely here. So obviously I want this truck to look cool and therefore I couldn't let it stand with these uh, fixtures here. My solution was another plate and as I don't want to drill holes, if I can avoid it, I simply used the hole of the original antenna to mount a cover plate, of course in my nice uh, carbon look. Um, that actually now serves as a center hub for all the cabling. So obviously now it's coming down to just mounting the damper bridge and close everything up. So that's basically standard. So the good thing is it just it just looks the part and it doesn't distract from the overall look of, of the car. So I'm fairly pleased with this result. So I hope you like my solutions. I'm always open for additional suggestions. I'm fairly new to all of this, but I really enjoy to experiment with all these kind of things. So just let me know what you think. Next video, hopefully, will be some new driving action.